removing the carpet and the underlay. Removing the uh, old un carpet underlay. Make sure the floor is clean of all dirt. Acclimatise the flooring for 72 hours before installation. Open the boxes up, spread the boards around, put some spaces between the boards. The underlay we're going to use today is uh, combi lay. Now combi lay is a, um, a combination, and it's a, a right balance of compression, slip and damp proof characteristics. So you can do it all in one, um, all in one uh, hit instead of having a, uh, a moisture barrier and underlay as two separate items. Comes in a metre wide strip with a with a plastic that we can um, overlap on the side. Now the first piece goes on. Now we've cut this in half so that we can stagger the pieces. Uh, we have our spaces at the back to get us off the wall. The piece just drops straight down onto the onto the locking mechanism. Making sure when you do this that the locking mechanism is facing the front. Now what we're doing, we're using flooring off cuts, which are 14 millimeters thick. You can use spaces up to 13 millimeters thick if you like. So the first rows in. And this length here had to get cut to fit in, make it up to the edge. And not forgetting to leave the, um, the space at the end of the board as well, along the flap. For our second row, we're going to, uh, if you see here, we've got two floorboards laying on the uh, ground in, in, in position, but the distance there is not a minimum requirement of 25 millimetres. So what we're going to do is down the end of this board is take off, dock off the end of this, uh, this first board here so that when we lay it down and the next board that the space down this end here will be a minimum of 25 millimetres, sorry 25 centimetres to 50 millimetres away from the edge of the wall. Now we've cut a piece 30 centimetres or 300 millimetres for that end bit. We're just uh, measuring everything at the moment before we clip the second row in. And we've put a full board. And now what we have to do is measure to the wall to cut this board. So as you can see, we're working backwards before we, before we do it. Now don't forget to put a spacer at the end before you measure it. If you want to keep it off the wall. Our distance. Holding it up at an angle, then pushing it down into the position. Bit of a tap. Next piece, okay the second board clicks into the long end and as well just drops down onto the short end of the previous board. Using a rubber mallet and a tapping block, just going to tighten up that joint. The last little piece, just lay it down into the groove, click it into place. Measuring the third, the third row end piece.
Make sure you stagger your joints so they don't line up, so that they're uh, around. Okay, we're putting a row in now, and this row has to span two rooms, and it has to go around uh, a, a wall that comes out. So we're gonna to have to cut it around this wall here. So what we're doing here is laying the boards out, getting our measurements. Just cutting the gap around the architrave, around the wall, allowing for our spacer, 40 mil spacer. Now we're going to measure the depth, make sure the, uh, the space is there to measure the space and measure out how far you need to cut the board. Now that we've cut the, uh, the piece for the wall out, just lay it in. You may have to adjust one of the floors, pulling them back off the wall a little bit to level it up. Okay, the combi lay we're using here butts up against the other sheet of combi lay, but there's a clear plastic overlay which just uh, helps for any kind of uh, moisture, seals it all up. Um, An adhesive tape uh, is removed from underneath which joins the two together. Now make sure you butt these up, do not overlap, but butt them up and then just continue to peel the tape away, taping it to the, um, the plastic of the sheet previously with the combi lay logo or whatever you're using face up. And combi lay is a, a uh, combination of a moisture barrier and uh, uh, underlay together. A uh, tip when you're um, selecting your boards for your flooring, um, as you see they're all being acclimatised here, we're, uh, we're taking the flooring out of four random boxes, so not all out of one box together. So out of, uh, the flooring's coming out of, out of four boxes uh, at one time. Okay, we've cut the groove out of uh, the bamboo on this side as well. Same thing, lift it up at an angle, click it down, tap. Putting the skirting board back. Now you can use your existing skirting boards and take them off or you can use a new skirting board. We're using new skirting board because we used 19mm thick skirting board to give us a big, big, bigger gap. Good idea to pre-paint your skirting board. And this is the final product. A magnificent looking bamboo floor. All the furniture is back in place now, making the room nice, bright, 